We have team coverage of the library shooting tonight. John Rogers is investigating the background of the shooter. But we begin with Candace McCowan, who attended a vigil on campus tonight. And Candace, I've seen some of the pictures, the videos already online, certainly looked emotional. It absolutely was. Good evening, Keith Gale. It's hard to believe with the crime tape here that just last night this time it was business as usual. Tonight on campus, they're trying to move forward after they say that their university and their safety was violated. Heads bowed, hands held, and friends leaning on each other. So Father, I ask that you would bless these students that are here tonight, that you would calm hearts. Dozens gathered for prayer in FSU's Moore Auditorium. For some, the tears are still pouring. They were just feet away from the library where a gunman opened fire. God's grace has allowed us to talk about three victims and not three bodies, not three casualties. Students like Madeline Lewis from Lakeland still want to know why. It doesn't seem real whatsoever, and even now I'm like, it just, it's a dream. None of this happened. Tonight, we're learning more about those who were injured in the rampage. Nathan Scott works at the library. This is video of him after he was shot in the leg and waiting on help. Sarah Evans ran to his aid. And I said, oh my gosh, are you okay? And he just said, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. And at that point, the employees were together telling us get to the back and the library went into uproar. As soon as he yelled, I've been shot. New tonight, the hospital where Scott is recovering tells us he's in good condition. He is surrounded by family. On campus, they're still trying to make sense of it all. There's hope beyond today that today does not define us. It marks us, but it doesn't define us. And the other victims are recovering quietly this evening. Even that library employee just wants to be surrounded by his family. Gail. Pretty inspiring stuff from a lot of those folks there. Now, any word on when the classes are going to get back to normal resume? Yeah, I talked with a university official this evening, and I understand that classes will resume tomorrow. The library, it will reopen tomorrow at 9 a.m. I understand that right now they're working to make sure that everything is back to normal. Gail? All right, that'll be the new normal for a while, that's for sure.